rise and equally dramatic fall of Anthony Scaramucci. We're joined by author and columnist and keen observer of Washington, Charles Kreidhammer. Charles, thanks for coming on. Pleasure to be here. Let me answer the last question. Yeah. Where's Scaramucci going? Obvious. Dancing with the stars. <laughs> now, I don't know anyone who's been on that show, but I would, I would just recommend uh, against it. Um, that if he calls me, I'll tell him that. Um, so, it, I think a lot of Republicans, a lot of people who voted for Donald Trump, want to believe that this is a turning point where the energies of the administration will be focused outward and the debates that they're having will be policy debates, which, you know, and they can win, some of them anyway. Do you think it is that? I think it could be. I, I really do think if this is a successful presidency, which is possible, they will date it to this last week, which is where they hit rock bottom, yep. and they got somebody in control, Kelly, who doesn't suffer fools. Obviously, his first edict was Scaramucci went way, way beyond the lines. It's not just a matter of chaos. It was sort of unseemly, both because of the infighting and because of the, quote, colorful language, unquote, and it couldn't be tolerated. And they, it appears as if he's going to establish lines of communication, lines of control that will all go through him, if that is so. And I would add one more caveat. That, and that caveat is attainable. The second one may not be, which is if he can have some influence on reining in the president's own impulses, then I think they have a very good chance of succeeding. If they don't, if he can't do that, they will fail, and it'll be Trump 2.0, and it will go the way of Trump 1.0. What's interesting is that you've heard people say, well, the president likes chaos. That's why he creates it. He feels comfortable in the middle of a maelstrom. And yet he's the one who brought Kelly in and gave him the latitude to make what is a key staff change. So maybe that suggests that the president has come to believe that he's not served by chaos. And I think what happened last week is that chaos became pandemonium. Right. I mean, chaos is tolerable to a certain extent. You know, the, the team of rivals theory and all that. But when you got this kind of wild, out of control rant that you got on the New Yorker from Scaramucci, where you got the failure of health care, where you got the Joint Chiefs ignoring, essentially, an order from the president on transgender, where you got, I mean, that's sort of up to the border of insubordination. Yes. Where you got a presidency it. falling apart, then you, you know, any chief executive, with uh, with the resolve, which is what Trump is, decided he had to do something. He brought in a cop, a new cop, and maybe this will succeed. Good for him. So the president said recently in his last and final push, I think, for health care, we're going to make Congress abide by the laws they pass. They have members and their staffs in Washington, as you know, a carve out that gives them a pretty huge subsidy for their health care. Basically, they're getting treated as no normal American would be under Obamacare, and he's going to make certain that that ends. Do you think he'll do that, and why has no one done it so far? Because it's very bad politics. Of course, it's good ethics. Yes. But that doesn't always mean good politics. He's just had an epic fail with health care. He needs to pivot immediately to tax reform. You don't endear yourself with the people you are going to need to cross the finish line by taking away their perks on health care. Yes, of course, it can't be justified. But I feel the same way about earmarks. One of the great destructive things Congress did was, but in a rush of hyperethics, it abolished earmarks, which are right. the giving of a post office and a bridge to any congressman as a way to, to pay them off. Of course, it was unethical and scandalous. But who the hell cares? That was the liquid. That was the oil. That was the lubricant for legislation, and you will talk to any legislator who will tell you how much that has made legislating more difficult. Yes. So they, they've got an unwarranted perk on health care. Keep it, but pass tax reform. Maybe just threaten them with taking it away. Very wise. Charles, thanks a lot for coming on tonight. My pleasure.